to just poke my asshole in the eye. You have to be your biggest fan. And when things are really tough and they're really rough and nothing's working, but there's something inside of you that says, you just have to follow that. Because you don't know who you're gonna be, who you're gonna be, who you're gonna be. <laughs> I just changed because I'm gonna go on a little walk with my friend Jordan. I'm actually spending the weekend alone because Ryan's at his brother's bachelor party. So I'm doing a little self-care weekend, which I feel like starting the weekend with a walk with one of your friends is literally one of the best forms of self-care. So we're gonna go on a little walk. Sadly, the sun's not out yet. I wish it was because I feel like that would boost my mood a lot more. This is the walk fit, so cute and comfy. And then we're gonna come back and do a bunch of self-care. <laughs> Back from my walk. I feel like that was the perfect way to start the day. It's literally like free therapy to just go on a walk with your friends and talk about literally anything and everything. And then they just give you the best advice. Now we're gonna start with our whole self-care day. We're in my bathroom now. I have had this dry brush for probably a year now. I put it in my cabinet and I've literally forgotten about it until I'm like in the shower or once I get out of the shower. And I've been wanting to try it for so long. I just got this goop one. I read that it's really good and it also has like softer bristles, which I think is good to start with. I've been wanting to try this. You're supposed to do it before you get in the shower. It's supposed to basically just help with like circulation, removing toxins, and also with like cellulite, which I feel like I've been noticing more in my legs so I really want to try and see if it actually helps it's like supposed to like tighten the skin and everything and just be like relaxing so I feel like this is literally the perfect thing to start with for the self-care day and then we're gonna do an everything shower because it, it's time to wash this hair I found a video showing total time for each section of the body I'm gonna put on some music it's relaxing and then just try it out. It's like such an easy thing to do in your shower routine. It'd be like perfect if you're doing like a self-care day or an everything shower. Honestly, it felt really good. The only part that was a little bit sensitive was like my arms. I feel like once you do it more, I'll probably get used to it, but it feels like a little bit more tingly and rough on that part of the body. But the legs honestly felt really good. Now I'm gonna go do an everything shower and my hair's been feeling kind of dry lately. So I'm gonna do this Eva NYC Main Magic 10 in 1 Shine Mask. This literally makes my hair so soft every time I use it. And then I'm gonna exfoliate with this First Aid Beauty Bump Eraser Body Scrub because I'm also gonna self tan after this because I need a refresh. I also made this self-care day playlist. I made it an hour and a half. So if I'm going to do like an everything shower or self tan or something, I feel like having a good playlist to listen to is so important because I'm there for like a decent amount of time, which I am because I love to feel like I'm at a spa, then you're gonna want like good music to listen to so I made it long enough for both things and yeah let's just do it but I'm not going to take you guys with me on my shower because that would be inappropriate <laughs> That felt literally so good. I was in there for like 30 minutes and I have no shame in that. I fully self-cared. I washed my hair, double cleansed, and then I also did the mask on it while I exfoliated and shaved my entire body conditioner. And then I cleansed my face for two minutes while the conditioner was sitting. It felt literally like a spa. I don't know if you're really supposed to do this before self-tanner on your face. Just feel like I'll feel better. I really want to do this mask because it's not a self-care day if you don't do a face mask. I actually tried this one recently. It's from Burst and it's the brightening tightening mask. I think it's like a red clay. Yeah, red clay and turmeric. Helps brighten, improve the appearance of skin texture. Helps your skin look more energized and less dull. So we're gonna do that. <laughs> is sitting on my face for 15 minutes. I'm gonna make some tea. Oh my gosh, besties are having a self-care day too. Hi, bestie. Oh my goodness. <laughs> So good. I always 
love the feeling after a face mask. It's like literally the best. My skin looks so nice now. I really want to put my skincare on, but I obviously can't because I'm going to tan. But before I tan, I think I'm going to take my hair out and do my after hair wash products. I think I'm going to put this leave-in treatment, the Red Kinesthetic Bonding Concentrate. I just tried the five-minute mask last week, I think, and I actually really like it. I've used this one before, and I also like it. It's just good for conditioning, heat protectant, hydration, and it smells so good. I don't know how to describe how it smells, but it smells like it smells like a candle. And then I always use these two products, the Main Magic 10 in 1 Primer. I just ran out of the one that's for fine hair, which I like more just because I do have fine hair. And I feel like it just like doesn't weigh it down as much. This oil treatment that I put in my hair, the brand is Katoko. I also like the Eva NYC one because it's a heat protectant too. I literally just do like the smallest amount. I'll probably do two drops because my hair is wet. I've been putting this on like at night before bed as well when my hair is already dry and styled, but I just feel like it's been helping keep bit more moisturized by just putting it on the ends every night. I used to do that, but then I kind of like fell off doing it. I'm trying to make it a point to apply hair oil every night, especially because I style my hair a lot with heat. I know I shouldn't. If I want my hair to grow, I should let it be, but it's so hard for me, especially because I have frizzy, wavy hair. It's not the vibe. I need to figure out still how to style it, but I just love having it blown out better. Or I self tan. I'm going to blow out my hair because I just feel like it's a lot more manageable for tomorrow because I'm meeting up with some friends for coffee and a walk. So I just kind of want my hair to be blown out. I'm going to start with my Dyson. So this is kind of like an updated hair routine as well. Because I feel like people have been asking me and complimenting my hair a lot. Even though I feel like I'm not really that good at hair. It's just kind of what I've been doing Okay, so I did everything underneath. I go all the way down, except probably like the last two inches of my hair. I leave that out because I'm gonna flip the bottom up. And I feel like if I go over it with the air straight, it just like won't do anything. Leave my ends out so they take the little curl after. I'll kind of just like quickly pass over it the same way that I did with the other sections. Then I'll do like the top a little bit. <laughs> I really like doing the upwards motion just because I feel like it kind of just makes the top lay a little bit better. And then I like to pull the bangs forward or dry them down so that they don't go like back. I'm gonna curl these front pieces in a minute. I have the largest barrel on my air wrap. I'm just basically gonna curl the ends up. <laughs> Pretty much all I do, just like a quick little go around of all the ends and just flip them up because I think that looks really cute. But honestly, just leave it like this. My bangs kind of actually just naturally swooped, which I also like this look, but I've been kind of curling my bangs. I always used to do this and I kind of stopped, so I'm back. <laughs> That's pretty much it. I just do a few little curls in the front. I like to take out like my shorter front pieces and then I'll add like the smaller one that kind of is a little bit longer just so it kind of tapers down and blends in a little bit more with the flip. Just gonna add another drop of hair oil just to kind of set it, add a little bit more moisture in. I used to not do this because I thought it was just gonna weigh my hair down. Putting in like a small amount and it gets rid of the flyaways and just makes it a lot shinier. Here's another view in the mirror. I feel like you can kind of see it a little bit better just because I feel like I couldn't tell if the lighting was bright enough. So hopefully it was. Pretty much current everyday hairstyle. Okay, the last thing we're gonna do for our self-care day slash glow up is self-tan now. And I'm actually trying this tanner for the first time. I ran out of the one that I normally use, which is the Bondi Sands Pure because I can't use anything with fragrance in it. I'm gonna try these. Hopefully this goes well because I get used to like using a product Product and then I'm hoping that this is easy to use, but the review said it is. I also have the brushes. So this one is for the face and this one's for the body. That's why I'm a little bit nervous because normally I use a mitt and I think you can still use a mitt, but I'm gonna try to do it with the brush because that's what it says on the website. I shouldn't have done my hair before. I'm gonna put self-tan on because now I'm not gonna put it up anymore. 
anyways. Whatever. So I'm gonna put the tanning water on my face. I think I'm gonna just spray it on the brush just to be safer. I don't know how much I'm supposed to use, but we're just basically supposed to brush it all over the face. And I think it takes like 24 hours to fully develop. I don't know if I used enough. Feels wet. I'm hoping that this like doesn't leave streaks. I feel like I should maybe do like one more. I just like don't want to miss a spot. Like a weird line like around my eyes or something. And then I'm gonna brush it into my hairline really well. Take it down my neck. It's pretty quickly, which is nice. I like that it goes on clear. So it's supposed to not transfer to your clothes or your sheets. If you want just like a lighter tan, you can leave it on just for an hour. I'll probably leave it on for a couple hours and I'm probably gonna rinse it off before I go to bed because I really like hate sleeping with self-tanner on and I just wanna like moisturize my skin. I'll probably shower again just before bed. Now we're gonna go in with the tanning foam. <laughs> applying the tanner with this brush. I felt like it felt nice. I almost felt like it was faster to do that. I ended up using my tanning mitt just for my upper back because I felt like I couldn't really reach with the brush and I like having the mitt so I can kind of use like both hands and go like up with like the back of my hand to get the middle of my back. I feel like that works the best and then I don't have any like missing spots back there. It also feels really hydrating. That's something that I hate about fake tanner is when I'm done, I feel like my skin feels super dry. It literally doesn't smell like tanner at all. That's another thing that I don't like about self tanner is the smell of it. Even when I use the Bombay Sand and it's like fragrance free, it still has this like smell to it. This doesn't, which I like. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the aftertaste of fun candy. 